Hello Libra, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. This is going to be your love reading for July 1st through the 15th. Uh, for those of you who have been following me and subscribing and are returning viewers, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate your support. For those of you who are new to my channel, I am a psychic medium and I read tarot intuitively, okay? So let's look into your energies for love, July 1st through the 15th. Okay, this month is going to be a little hectic. Okay, I'm feeling a lot of hectic energy. There's a lot of anxiety around your relationship. I feel like you guys, um, some of you guys are dealing with a situation where you are going to have to move quickly. There's a, there's a, there's something about moving. Okay, um, I feel that wow 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 yeah I'm seeing something is like crashing and burning um this is for a small percentage of you okay or you may be feeling like you are making room like something's falling apart in order to make room for something better um within matters of love okay Libra love please love energies July 1st through the 15th you guys have been waiting for someone. You've been waiting for someone, okay? Um, you have been waiting for someone to make up their mind about something. Or someone is waiting for you to make up your mind about something. And it's in matters of love, okay? I feel like this this is someone, Libra, you're dealing with. It's a Pisces. Um, you're either waiting for them. They're waiting for you. There's a decision of the next step. I'm seeing that you are feeling guarded about this situation. Even though you may really, really look like this person, I almost said love, but I I don't feel like you guys love this person, but I feel like you like this person a lot, especially if they're new, but I feel like you're making a decision, like you're trying to weigh out, like what's the next step with this person, okay? I feel like a lot of you guys are dealing with some really like energies that are in and out of your life right now that are not trying to commit, could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, Libra in love. Let's see what else. Yeah, I see you spinning. You're spinning. You're spinning something on the table. So tables are turning. Okay. So you, if you have been chasing after a um, air sign, I'm sorry, not an air sign, um, a fire sign, Aries, Sag, Leo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you are now turning the tables because you have now gained back your control and you're no longer letting this person play you. Okay. And now this person feels, I do see them rushing in because they don't have you anymore this month. Okay. Now I do sense that this is a game. It's like a game. Like whenever you leave, they come, whenever you show up, they leave. Okay. So it's kind of like, it's like, a cat and mouse, right? What opportunities does Libra have in love? You definitely have your eye on um, Libra. You definitely have your eye on someone who you, for my masculine Libras, this person is like a goddess to you. I'm just seeing that you're looking at this person and this person is sparkling. Like, the, I'm seeing... Um, you know beach setting like this person is glowing like they look gold like there's a gold aura around them um, this person feels like a Virgo this person feels like um, a Pisces they feel very like star energy like a, uh, a star seed energy like they're very galactic and they're very like goddessy uh, could be a Taurus as well um, but you're just like looking at this person from afar and you're like, you really admire them and you really like them, but you're still cautious. Like it, it's, there's something going on with your heart space. Okay. You need to kind of revisit what's going on with your heart space. All right. What opportunities, because there's a blockage here, despite you wanting to explore this love, you're like blocked. So, what opportunities does Libra have in love? What opportunities does Libra have in love, please? What opportunities?
opportunities does Libra have in love? One more card. Love, please. One more for love. So there's a lot of like healing for you. Yeah, there's a lot of healing from a third party situation from your past. Although you have new energy coming in, I'm still seeing that you're you're blocked, right? And that, that shows like your heart space is blocked. Your ability to give someone new love long term right, right now is just, what is the outcome for love for Libras? If you are dealing okay, for love with Empress. you guys want out of a situation and I'm sensing that instead of leaving you're sneaking around you're sneaking around okay some of you if you have been in a marriage or relationship I don't know I don't know there's some sneaking around here, okay? Um, for some of you, you're done with this relationship, but you're kind of sneaking behind this person's back because you don't know how to get out of it. For others, this is them. This is your partner, okay? But let's start the month. July 1st, you have a young, uh, you know, 25 to what, 30-ish uh, fire sign. We have a Sagittarius. Leo, Aries, I feel strong Sag energy coming through. Um, you have a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, same age range. Also, they're both in reverse. These people are not serious. These people are not serious. These are two different people in your lives, okay? Um, these people want fun. These people are just in it for fun right now. They are in reverse and they're knights at that, okay? So if you have been waiting for them to commit to you or to give you a sign that they're committed, this is not the month. They're not going to do it, okay? You're coming out of a, a defensive space. Nine of Wands in reverse. You've been through a lot, okay, in love, in love. You, you have battled, okay? You're trying your best, especially if you're dealing with a Pisces, you're trying your best to open your heart to this water sign because you see the value in this person. You want something with this person. But I think you're coming out of a situation where you can't fully give to this person the way you want to. You're still married or they're still married. There's something that's blocking, but there's still movement. I'm still seeing that there's still movement towards this person, okay? Um, it's just gonna take some time, all right? The opportunity here is the Three of Cups in reverse. We have the full energy in matters of love, Five of Swords in reverse, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. For some of you, this is not the month. The beginning of the month is not the month for new love, like new committed love. You are still working through past wounds and you're still working through a third party situation. You're trying to let go of resentment of being cheated on in the past. Um, I feel like this really wounded you. You're trying to move forward with, um, you know, you're trying to start fresh, but this is, this is standing out as the positive energy, as the possibility, but you have all these other energies around you. You're dealing with, with maybe some of you watch your drinking habits. Maybe you're drinking too much. Um, you are not in a place to offer committed love right now, even though I know there's slow movement towards it. You are healing. You're healing a situation where you felt like it was about ego and there's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of bickering. You're healing. And I think that you just got out of a relationship. Okay. I'm feeling like you just got out of a relationship, but you're also still holding on, but you're also indulging too much to try to numb, numb, like you're numbing yourself. And in turn, you don't really have anything long-term to offer here, okay? You want to start fresh, okay? So I do see you starting fresh. I do see someone with the name of V coming into your life. There is a lot of flirty energy here, someone with a V. A lot of flirty energy. 
um, for my masculine Libra is this person is really feminine and I really think you appreciate that like you look at this feminine energy and you're like wow like whew, you know um, they're very poetic they they really feel like a Pisces to me okay uh, let me know comment below if they are Sun Moon or Rising and I feel like you want to offer them a new start. You're being really playful. Like some of my Libras, you're trying to leave the past behind you and you're starting new and you want to be playful. So at the end of the month, um, you have the Strength card in reverse for love. You have the Seven of Swords and then you have the uh, Three of Swords. Please be honest with people because there are secrets, okay? There are definitely secrets right now. Um... If you have not fully broken things off with an ex, could be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, don't leave people on because I do see a broken heart here, okay? Um, if you are in a situation where you are allowing people to steal from you in matters of love, whether it's monetarily, like whether it's money, whether it's energy, whatever you have reasoned this with, no one is deserving of taking something you haven't given freely, okay? Don't forget that because I see a lot of energy here where you're losing, you're losing your inner voice and you're losing your inner strength because someone is taking from you. You keep giving money or something to someone that you have a connection to in exchange for love or vice versa, okay? But this is saying like, observe, okay? There are a lot of secrets right now. There are a lot of things you don't know. Instead of acting, you can get your answers if you just sit back and, reserve, and, and observe the situation for what it is. You're Some of you guys are definitely dealing with um, a Gemini energy and you have a decision to make. So what is the advice for my Libras in matters of love? If you have been waiting for a Capricorn to come back into your life, they will be coming back. Um, I think it's, I'm feeling like July 18th, 15th, 18th, okay, through. They will be coming back to you. Um, yeah, messages. So what advice do you have for my Libras here? The advice is to release yourself from captivity, let go of anxiety. Your mind can be your friend or your biggest enemy, okay? Let go of control. Let go of trying to make something work where it's not working, okay? Seek your truth. Honor yourself. Don't let people get away with cheating behaviors however you want to take that for the sake of staying okay or vice versa if you're a cross watcher for libra if libra hasn't been honoring their truth this is not the time to stay for the sake of staying okay all right thanks you guys bye